Hi there, this is Tony from Pianotone.ca and this is just going to be a really quick video uh, showing a fix I found online for kind of a sporadic issue when uh, you use your Yamaha PSR E373 as a MIDI controller. Let's check it out. So a user on my YouTube channel uh, posted a comment saying that the sustain pedal doesn't work with the Yamaha PSR E373 when you're using it as a MIDI controller. I was kind of surprised to hear that. Uh, and my initial reaction was maybe this person was using a PC that needed Yamaha's drivers installed or something like that. So I immediately went to my iPad to test this out, assuming it would work fine. And I don't need to worry about having drivers installed on my iPad. Okay, so after reading that comment, I hooked up my PSR E373 to my iPad with a USB cable and a uh, lightning connector. And I opened up a new uh, GarageBand project and I added a uh, MIDI uh, grand piano sound. So as I play, the sound that you're hearing uh, is uh, coming from the uh, iPad. It's not coming from the, uh, the keyboard. So it's the, uh, the grand piano MIDI sound on the iPad that you're listening to. So if I press a note without the sustain pedal, sounds normal. If I'm, I'm now holding down the sustain pedal, and it's not sustaining. So after I first saw that this was uh, an issue with the E373, I immediately went and tested it on my brand new PSR EW425 keyboard, and yay, it's not an issue on the 425, so it shouldn't be an issue on the uh, 61 key 473 either. Uh, so then I went online looking for a solution, and I found the same solution on a few different forums and blogs. I'm not sure who originally came up with the solution, but whoever it was, thank you. But before I show the solution, I want to show you something else I noticed. I'm going to switch to a different uh, MIDI app on my uh, iPad called Medicolous. This app is similar to the Windows app QWERTY, except it's going to run on an iPad as well as a PC. QWERTY only runs on a PC. And it also has MIDI sounds built right in, which QWERTY doesn't. This is a super cool app. I do plan on uh, making a re uh, review on it eventually, but if you want to check it out on your own, I have included a link to their site in the description. So as I play now, you can see it's picking up the, uh, the notes on the uh, screen, just like QWERTY does. Now as I press the pedal, you can also see that uh, Mediculous is catching that the, the pedal is being pressed. So now, I'm curious whether it's going to work in Mediculous. So I'll play without the pedal. Sounds normal. Now I'll press the pedal down. And it's sustaining. So I then went and tried every other MIDI compatible app on my I iPad, and it was a pretty even split. Some recognize the sustain pedal and others don't. I also tested one more thing, uh, which was I thought since I have a third-party sustain pedal connected to my E373 that I should also test a Yamaha pedal. So I did do that too, and that didn't make a difference. Okay, so on to the solution. Okay, so on your E373, uh, all you have to do to fix this is to turn on uh, duo mode. This is where your keyboard will be split into two identical halves with the same pitch, which is intended for having a teacher sit beside you. To do this, uh, go into the function menu, press the function button, and scroll until you see number 48, and that's going to be duo mode, which is currently off. I'm going to press yes to set it to on. So this will actually instantly fix the issue with the sustain pedal. So if I'm holding the pedal down now, you can hear that it's sustaining. But if I go to try and play it, you can see that it sounds uh, all messed up, and that's because the, uh, the normal ranges have been changed. That's because when we turned on duo mode, the keyboard shifts the right half octave uh, down by one, and the left half octave up by two, so that they've got a matching range. So I've got the same notes here as I have here. But we can fix that quite easily. Uh, we just go back into the function menu and we go to the uh, right octave, number 53, has been shifted down by one. I'm going to put that up to zero so it doesn't shift it at all. And then I'm going to go to the left octave, which has been uh, shifted up by two. I'm going to move that to zero. So now it hasn't been shifted at all either. So by doing that, both of them now have a matching range. So now let's see how that sounds. and you can hear that the sustain is working just fine. But if you're wearing headphones, you may have noticed that the sustain does sound fine now, but it's all coming out of the left-hand side. 
And that's just because uh, when we set the keyboard to duo mode, for some reason, uh, GarageBand automatically pans the track to the left. So all we have to do in GarageBand is just go over here and center it. And I did go and retest this in the other apps that didn't recognize the sustain pedal, and it uh, also uh, fixes it there as well. So this does seem kind of like a weird fix, but as you can see, it works. Uh, why does it work? To be honest, I'm not exactly sure. I'm assuming it's something to do with uh, slight changes to what MIDI signals are being sent from the keyboard to uh, the apps and how the apps are interpreting those MIDI signals. But at any rate, this does fix it. So if you're going to be working with MIDI a lot with your PSR E373, it might be an idea to make these setting changes that I've just made and then save them to one of your uh, nine registration banks. So you can do that by holding down uh, registration and then pressing one to nine. So I'll just press nine and it'll say uh, overwrite memory number nine and I'll say yes. And then that way, now I can recall that uh, registration whenever I turn on the keyboard by simply hitting registration and load number nine, and then R9 shows up in there, and then I know I'm ready to start working with uh, GarageBand or some other MIDI app. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to share the workaround uh, for this issue that I did not come up with myself, but I just found online from some people who clearly know a lot more about MIDI than I do. Uh, I've also left a link in the description to the website where you can check out uh, Mediculous in more detail if you're at all curious about it. And I've also left some links to some online uh, piano training that I recommend, as well as uh, to my first song on piano, uh, Walk With You. So thanks a bunch for checking out this video. If you like the content, feel free to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. That does really uh, help me out. Thanks again for stopping by and have an awesome day.